uh, Samsung's blockchain uh, wallet. If you look at the recent tweet from Dent saying that Dent developers are quite busy integrating their eSIM data purchase capability with the Samsung blockchain wallet. So it's a quite a uh, nice way to allow eSIM to be bought uh, from directly from the Samsung's uh, blockchain wallet. So let's have a quick look at what the Samsung uh, blockchain wallet actually means. If you go through, it's a, it's a crypto wallet, uh, pretty much like Engine or um, Coinbase wallet. But it, it's quite interesting that um, the, the blockchain wallet, Samsung blockchain wallet already has dent on it. So it's going to be a quite an interesting uh, integration to see. You can see Stent is already um, on their list of uh, tokens on their uh, DApp lists. So, so basically once you have this integration delivered from uh, Dent, I guess uh, people using the Samsung phones could directly buy an eSIM. Remember Samsung S20 has already got eSIM support on it. So technically the Samsung S20 comes with pre-built uh, blockchain wallet as well. So all they need to do is have a few 10 tokens on their wallet and directly using those 10 tokens from their Samsung blockchain wallet, they could make a direct purchase of the eSIM data um, on the go. So that makes buying data much easier. That's the integration that Dent team has been working uh, pretty hard in the recent months. So it's a pretty huge integration from my point of view because it's, it shows the level of adoption that Dent Wireless is trying to bring into uh, to their eSIM support. So if you look at the uh, support as well, like uh, the roadmap, so let's have a quick uh, analysis of their roadmap uh, on what they achieved and what they uh, delivered in the past one and a half years. So I have made the list uh, which was from the Telegram channel, community channel. So if you look at this, these are the Q1 items which uh, pretty much you can see it's green all have been delivered. Then there comes uh, the second quarter of 2019. So it's pretty a lot of items got delivered. Um, then we have Q3 2019. From where on things started um, taking a different shape because they started prioritizing uh, eSIM um, on their development phase. So you can see then they offered um, afterburner support and um, telephony service as well and then in Q4 2019 they, they tried to launch um, eSIM preparing the eSIM launch and then voice telephony in 100 countries and then launch of Dent 3.0 and then reach 25 million users in 70 countries with 220 operators so that's a pretty significant things that they nailed all the way along uh, in Q4 2019 as well. And in Q1 2020, they got quite a lot of things done as well. So they increased their voice telephony service to another 20 countries and they launched voice telephony service for India as well. And then we are right now in Q2 2020. So we are expecting the Dent 4.0 um, and then 5G latency trading and voice telephony in ad another additional 10 countries. And then they were expecting to reach 40 million users. So these are the ones which um, were not uh, delivered. Um, but since their position has been changed and focus has been towards more on eSIM related products, I would say then let's wait for the, the next new roadmap is going to be delivered uh, in probably start of Q3. So it's going to be very interesting because you can see um, all the way from Q1 2019 to Q2 2019, Q3 2019 and all the way to uh, 2020. So they have delivered quite a lot of things um, and then managed to acquire close to 25 million users as well. And there were few items which were not meant to be in the roadmap but Tent uh, team managed to deliver these as well like Samsung Galaxy app and then Samsung blockchain wallet integration, then availability of eSIM in 50 countries, 
and then they did a partnership with uh, GND. I did a previous video um, on the partnership with uh, GD. So I would strongly recommend uh, if you haven't seen that video to have a glimpse of uh, the integration, the partnership that uh, Dent has made with G plus D to um, onboard the eSIM together. So and then we launched the uh, launch of Dent Teams is another key product as well. And then Fiat payments for eSIM data plans. And then we are expecting a web app as well. So these are the items which were actually not on the roadmap, but since eSIM started taking priority, uh, these uh, things got added into the roadmap. So let's keep an eye on the uh, roadmap uh, in the coming few weeks. So that could be quite interesting. And let's watch out for this particular uh, integration as well, because the Samsung blockchain wallet is, is a default wallet that comes out of the box on all the Samsung S latest flagship phones. So we might be seeing um, this integration allowing people to be able to get an eSIM on the fly using uh, directly from their Samsung wallet. So the question is how many people uh, use this Samsung blockchain wallet? We don't know actually. But what, what is imminent is the Samsung phones have quite a number of market share and compared with Apple is equally competing with Apple iPhones and other handsets and particularly S20 uh, as a eSIM support. So that makes quite nice position for Dent there because this particular integration will allow users of the Samsung blockchain wallet app to directly uh, use their Dent tokens to get an eSIM on the fly. So, yep, that's it. In today's videos, I want to just bring out about this new uh, Samsung blockchain wallet integration that Dent has been doing. And then I want to cover uh, some of the achievements that Dent has made in the past one and a half years, all the way from uh, Q1 2019 to Q2 2020. So it's pretty good position, I would say, because if you look at what the things that Dent has achieved in the past reason two years the roadmap was for two years and most of the items have been delivered and then they had a additional uh, lot of items which were initially not on the roadmap as well so it would be very interesting to keep an eye out on the next roadmap that dent is about to launch in few weeks that would be really interesting because they have plans for quite big um, 5g integration and then internet of things iot so there's quite a lot of use cases that Dent uh, has a good positioning there. So let's watch out for the next ro roadmap in the next few weeks. Thanks, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.